Train the muscles, not the joints. So welcome back to another Natural Glam bodybuilding video. And of course, uh, I don't have a, my own movie set or lighting setup, so I'm outside in the sun blinding my eyes out here. But uh, the bottom line is that welcome back to Natural Glam bodybuilding. And today I'm gonna address a question out there that uh, somebody asked me just through email just uh, uh, today actually. And they're asking about how to build a lower chest. Now I'm just going to, to make this into a video of how to build a chest. So obviously I've had to adjust my training according to my workout vlog, some of you have seen this, just because of uh, some injury history from hockey and stuff, right? So uh, my shoulders are sitting a little bit farther forward because they're torn, you know, the labrum is torn in there from the hockey injuries. But the fact is, is that there are some general principles that will help you build a bigger chest. Now, what a lot of people get mixed up in is they think just primarily range of motion is how you decide what muscle group you're hitting. Now, that is true given the circumstance, say the joint is sitting in a certain position, okay? And then a certain range of motion will affect the muscle groups in a certain way. But if the joint is sitting in a different position, now the muscles will be affected in another different way, okay? So what I find a lot of people uh, do when they're first training chest is they actually train shoulders, but they pretend to train chest. And what I mean by this is that the shoulders will be sitting up like this and they'll just rotate around the shoulder joint. Okay, so now it doesn't really matter what movement you do, whether it's a supposed chest movement or you know, uh, you know, back movement or whatever. If you're rotating around the shoulder joint, you're gonna primarily be working the shoulders. Okay, the front delt, the rear delt. So if you wanna train the chest, what you have to do now is focus on where are your shoulders sitting and are they locked in position so they're not rotating so much like this, okay? This rotation is not how you train chest. How you train chest is you sit the shoulders firmly in a position, stick the chest out, so now the chest is forward and there's more of a stretch automatically there in the chest. So now the tension is on the chest and primarily that's where it's staying. It's not transferring to the shoulders or off the chest altogether and just purely the shoulders pushing the weight, okay? So that's where most people make their mistake. They train bench press, but then they're really training their shoulders because they're not sitting their shoulders in the right position. Now, when your shoulders are back like this, now you're saying, okay, I wanna take the shoulders out of the movement by pulling them back, and I'm gonna make the chest forward, and this is gonna help stretch the chest. It's almost like a pre-stretch, and automatically the weight sits on there, and then it's a constant tension on there. Now, for me, I've had to do two stages to this. One is keep the shoulders back, but the second stage is change the range of motion and keep it in one, one area. Because my shoulders, like I said, there's an injury in there which wants my shoulders to move forward. You know what I'm saying? I don't have the same anchor point that a lot of other people do because they don't have a torn labrum. So this is something to factor in. So if you want a lower chest, it's the same thing. Whether you're doing dips or whether you're doing bench press, whether you're doing flies, it's all the same. It's more about this movement instead of rotating around the shoulders. Do you understand? It's, it's I'll step back here. It's not about this movement when you, do, when you want to train chest. When you want to train chest, it's not about this movement. It's about, see? It's like that, but it's not about this, you see? So a lot of people mix that up. They train shoulders or delts, and then they say, why am I not building a chest? Well, it's because you're, you're training your shoulders, that's why. So you have to lock the shoulders in. It's like a pre-lock. That's why there's this big thing on the internet. Shoulders back, down, and then, you know, arch. Now the other reason why a lot of times this trend is taking off is because a lot of times people are trying to change their bench press into a decline. And when they change their bench press into a decline, it's easier to lift more weight. So it gives their ego like this huge amount of pride. It has absolutely no use in, in bodybuilding whatsoever. It's just a pure ego bunch of bullshit that a lot of guys are doing because they think if they arch their chest or they make their bridge, they stick their ass up in the air, basically have sex with the ceiling. Somehow that's gonna make their bench press uh, and their chest better. No, that, that's all a bunch of crap, right? But the fact is though, if you do want to activate the chest, you do want the shoulders to be locked in the position and that chest pre-stretched, okay? So I hope this tip helps you out. There's a lot of genius in it. So start applying this in the gym and see how this helps you. And uh, let me know how it goes, okay? So if you need to get a hold of me, just go to the Natural Glam Bodybuilding Group on Facebook or you can visit me at my website, naturalglambodybuilding.com.